Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habati filah the question was asked Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I don't know what's wrong with me Why I'm so weak to jump into my following my desires How do you stop sinning How do you get to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So you want to stop sinning Every time I want to read about Tawheed I then think there's no point you're gonna sin again What I struggle with is pessimism Procrastination is very depressing. I get anxious easily. Sometimes I find myself just feeling nervous out of the blue. Allahumma stand if you can help me and advise me with practical steps as well. Barakallah fikum. First and foremost, habit fillah. This is a very important question that many of us suffer from. And we all suffer from weak iman from time to time. And we know that our iman fluctuates. And before getting into the question, it's very important the importance of striving so this is going to negate the procrastination you have to strive it's just no ifs ands or buts about it if you want to memorize the quran you have to sit down and try to memorize the quran uh you know have a teacher whatever the case may be if you want to build your body you got to put in the time you want to be a boxer you got to get on those hands and get on the bag whatever it is you have to make the effort. It's just, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, azima, having firm determination. And that is one of the most difficult things because many of us don't want to leave the sins. That's the point. We don't want to leave it. We're used to our girlfriend. We're used to those ghetto beats. Well, I'm used to this. I'm used to that. It's very difficult. And I know this. We all struggle one way or another with our various sins. Let's talk about istiqama first. Being on istiqama. What is the book of Allah? The sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the salaf, some athar of the salaf. Listen to this beautiful, beautiful way of addressing these important uh, matters, matters of the, the heart. It's in, in fact, this istiqama, it's with that heart. So your heart has to want to leave those sins. Not just you feel sorry, but you have to, when you're about to do that sin, to really say... I'm not doing it. And you can do that. I know you can. Because we've, we've done it ourselves. We came to a point, especially as new Muslims, for those of us, and, and, and Muslims who were not practicing, and then they come to their religion, they more than likely came to a stage in their deen where they say, hey, I'm, I'm, all, I'm in it to win it, so I got to stop such and such. I got to leave the girlfriend. Sorry, we're no longer on. Sorry. I can't listen to the music. Sorry, I'm not going to be a DJ anymore. Sorry, this is, this is how it comes to. So it's a development. It's a development of what? Of the heart. And that is the asal of iman. The Prophet ﷺ said, uh, The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily in the heart, or verily in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is clean or if it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. And if it is sick, the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. And surely, if you have a sick heart, of course, what's going to come out of your mouth, you're going to slip and have tongue. Look at the recent situation that's blown out of proportion that the particular brother made some racist comments. That's an indication of what's in his heart. It's an indication because it wasn't one time, it's several times he has a history, may Allah forgive us in him, of making these kind of comments. Allah wa hiya qalb. It's in the heart. So when we have a sickness in our heart, a disease in our heart, ma'asi in our heart, it's going to manifest itself on the limbs and on the tongue. Listen to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al-Kareem, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٍ وَلَا بَنُونٍ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهُ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kirim, Surah Shura, uh, Shura, Shura uh, verse 88 and 89. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The day in which your wealth and your children will not avail you, except for the one who comes to Allah with a clean heart. So working on that qalb and salim to leave the ma'asi, that's hard. I know it. But you have to do it. You have to. Procrastination, it feels so good because I'm a procrastinator. It feels so good those times when I don't procrastinate, when I fight my nafs. I say, no, I'm going to get this accomplished now. And I do it. 
You feel so much, you feel strong, you feel swole. You feel strong on that. So that's beautiful, you can do that. Uh, a Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah la yandhra lil adsadikum. Wa la ila surakum. Wa la kin yandhra lil qulubukum wa a'malakum. Muslim. In a hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet said, Verily, Allah does not look to your shape, nor does He look to your, your body or, you know, those kind of things, those physical things. Rather, He looks to your heart and your deeds. That's a reminder for you and I. Let's get our deeds together. Let's get our hearts together. Because our body, that's going to go. You know, some of the women, they beautify themselves, they do open sins with their beauty. Perfume, makeup, this, that, and the other. No hijab. They don't care. That's going to come. You, you only get that youth period that you're all beautiful like that. But then those young girls are going to replace you. And, we're, and, and moreover, you're going to be in the grave. And none of that's going to benefit you. It's only going to harm you. Unless you came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a clean heart and good deeds. Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't look to your wealth and he doesn't look to your, your image, but rather he looks to your heart and your deeds. And this is a hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, ruah muslim. Uh, and many of the salaf, they mention the importance of the heart and strengthen our iman. And dealing with these these issues of procrastination, uh, this dis, these issues of following our desires, these issues of sinfulness, because they all cycle in, and they all uh, it's like a catch twenty two, or they all they feed. It's a cycle. It's a cycle of sin. Procrastination and pessimism are negative characteristics. Being negative, because pessimism, you don't want to be pessimistic with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You've got to keep coming back to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And being positive that Allah is going to better your situation. You've got to be positive. And at the same time, you've got to make steps to leave those sins. But never give up on Allah. And this is the first way the shaitan attacks us with our good deeds. No, don't read Quran. You're too dirty. You're, you, you were just watching such and such. You were just listening to such and such. You can't do that. You were just macking to her. You can't do that. That's an old school word, meaning you were just talking to that girl. You were just doing this. You were just watching this. You were just, uh, you know, involved in this. You can't do that act of obedience. How can you make your sunnahs like that? How can you even pray like that? That's how the shaitan will take you till you leave the wajibat. And all you do is the muharramat until you leave Islam. And that's why Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Al-ma'asi barid al-kufr. That ma'asi, sinfulness, is a means to disbelief. Listen to this statement of Imam Ghazali. He said, Rahmatullahi, very fantastic. He said, Ajibin, Mimma Yahtimu, Be Waji Aladi, who a Mahala Nadar al Khulk. For Yog Sulohu, Wuyuzainahu, Bima Amkena la Ella, Yutala Fihi, Makhluk, Al Aim. Wala Yahtim, Wala Yahtimu, Wala Yahtimu, Be Kalbihi Aladi, who a Mahala Nadar al Khalik. Beautiful, beautiful statement, beautiful wisdom. He said, it's so strange how the, the a person will give so much importance to their face, which is the way uh, that, you know, the, the, the place in which people look to to see a person's beauty. They'll wash it and they'll beautify it so that the people don't see the shortcomings in their face. But they don't give any importance. This person doesn't give any importance to his heart, which is the place in which the Creator will look to. Qala atufi, rahimullah ta'ala, al-istiqama hiya imtithal kullu ma'mur wa ijtinab kullu mahdhur. Wa thalika yudkhul fi a'mal al-qulub wa abdan min al-iman wa al-islam wa al-ihsan. He said, atufi, rahmatullah alayhi, he said, istiqama, you know, being straight, it is adhering to everything you're commanded and avoiding everything you uh, have been warned against, prohibited from. And this is, uh, and, and, and that includes the deeds of the hearts 
the body from Iman, Islam, and Ihsan. And what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say about Ihsan? And Ta'budullah ka'anna ka tara fa'in lam tukun tarahu fa'inna hu yiraq. It's to worship Allah as if you see him and if you don't see him, know that he subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. Qala ibn Rajab, and I'm going to stop with this, because, but I, I can't help with these beautiful statements of the Salaf, which, uh, to ekkit what we're talking about. Imam Ibn Rajab said in his explanation uh, of Arba'in and Noe, he said, فَأَصْلَ istiqama istiqama taqalb ala tawhi. He said, the origin of istiqama is, you, you know, being straight in your heart on tawheed. And just like you said, it's difficult to study tawheed. So this is the opposite. Istiqam is the opposite. You have to do it. You have to get back on track. استقامت الجوارح كلها على طاعته فإن القلب هو ملك الأعضاء. And then he says, and it's and it's also the soldier. Okay, he said that istiqama in the heart it, it comes from uh, tawheed. Okay, and it's on tawheed, based on tawheed. And whenever a heart is straight by knowing Allah and being fearful of Him, exalting Him, loving Him, uh, desiring. His presence, subhanahu wa ta'ala, having hope in His mercy, supplicating to Him, making tawakkul, relying upon Him, trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and avoiding those things which negate it, then the heart, uh, then the, the limbs, all of them will be in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the heart is the leader or the ruler or the controller of the, of the limbs. And then we'll, we'll finish... This rests in, in, in English. And he said, and it's the soldiers of the, the limbs, meaning the heart. And it is the, and the best way to be on istiqama, this straightness, after the heart, from the jawara and, and from the limbs, is the tongue, is the tongue. Because the tongue translates the, what's in the heart. And it expresses what's in the heart. And due to this, uh, for this reason, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Istiqama, you know, he said, and he advised that a person controls their tongue. And in uh, Muslim Imam Ahmed, on Anas, radiallahu ta'ala, and on the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, aqal, La yistakim al-Iman, La yistakim Iman, uh, Iman Abdin, Hatta yistakim al-Qalbuhu, Wa la yistakim al-Qalbuhu, Hatta yistakim al-Lisanuhu, Intaha. This is a beautiful hadith of Imam Ahmed. So, you know, the, the tongue is going to help you as well. Speaking good. Dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and the Prophet said, the, uh, a person's iman does not become straight until their heart is straight. And their heart does not become straight until their tongue is straight. Meaning their tongue, tongue is unrighteousness. So, my advice, because now it's time for Salat, is in order... To do this is becoming serious about this, uh, striving, having the azima to really make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to want to leave that sin and be willing to sacrifice the sin for something much greater and much better. And you have to replace your environment. <coughs> for example, if you're by yourself and you do the sin, try to mix with people more that are people of good. If you are within the company of people who do certain sins, then you need to be away from those people and be in an environment of righteousness. So you need to remove yourself from the sin. And you have to, whenever you feel yourself procrastinating and pessimist, oh, I'll do this, I think I'm going to read it. No, just do it and get it done. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.